Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. My routine as of late has been simply not. I tweeze my eyebrows, do some foundation as concealer, put on some mascara, maybe add a little bit of gel for the brows, but I'm also really trying to focus on taking care of my skin and I don't feel like I've been really good about applying SPF in the morning, so I'm trying to be a lot more diligent about that. But I don't really like getting fully glammed up in the morning, but I feel like a little bit goes a long way for me. It just helps me feel better and brighter. So excitingly enough, I am done with my antibiotics and Pepto-Bismol phase that I was in for two weeks. I'm so happy it's done because that was not freaking fun to do. So basically I took the antibiotics for two weeks and then the next phase is for me to start taking some supplements because those antibiotics likely killed off not only the bad bacteria such as H. pylori, but any remaining good bacteria that I had in my system. Now I am supposed to be taking this poly prebiotic, which I have been taking consistently every day. I just take a scoop of it. It doesn't taste like anything. That's to feed the good gut bacteria. I guess it feeds it fiber. And then I take vitamin D. I take four of these probiotics a day. And then I take this bacteria called Saccharomyces boulardii. I don't know, I take two of these a day as well. And I'm supposed to be taking magnesium and I haven't been. And that's probably another reason I've been feeling constipated and all that. I'm supposed to take these before bed, but I'm like, it, does it really make a difference? It says AM and PM. So I'm gonna just take them in the morning because I think that'll be easier for me to remember. So it is a handful of supplements, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's good because I feel like it's making me be proactive about drinking water in the morning and stuff too, because I can be kind of bad about that. The one thing that has been interesting is I don't feel like I've had much of an appetite recently, or maybe it's that if anything, I have a normal appetite now. And before I was like excessively snacking on like sugar and all of that stuff. I'm not cutting out gluten anymore. She said it was kind of an option at the beginning anyway. So, oh, and I'm done actually as of September, I was supposed to stop. Dairy, <laughs> I've actually been really good about, except for this last week during moving week, I ate cornbread and it had dairy in it. Yesterday I had bread pudding that had ice cream and milk in it. And I definitely felt the repercussions of that. For the most part, it's been eliminated. <laughs> I know this can't be good for you. Like, it's a PB and J. They're so good. Peroxide, calcium peroxide. I don't know, diglyceride. I don't know, but I got a box of them at Costco. I'm gonna eat it. You bet your bottom dollar. This is breakfast. <laughs> I wish I could explain what happened in the last 24 hours, but I really can't. I feel like I so intended to be productive yesterday and today, but my body had other plans and so I listened. To be fair, last week was crazy. You know, this is like my new go, I like use them as a headband. I'm getting a bang trim on Friday, but this has been a really crazy week. There's been a lot of change, obviously leaving my old apartment, the chaos of moving, unpacking in this new place with new furniture and sort of a new routine which I'm all actually very grateful for, but I'm just like, I think I was just a little bit fried. I listened, I let my body sleep, and I regret nothing, but now I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna have such a hard time falling asleep tonight. I wanna knock out these dishes because the sink is small and you, you feel like you need to get them done because of how small the sink is because it just looks looks nasty. This looks nasty. <laughs> I'm watching some YouTube videos right now. I'm currently watching Alia Zeta, Alia, Alia Zeta. I love her YouTube videos. I got some desks in, so we're gonna try to be productive. <laughs> Every
ever since I moved into this apartment, which at this point it's been about two weeks, I have just had like no motivation to go and work out because I just feel like I'm spending all day unpacking, donating things to like Salvation Army, lugging things throughout the hallways. And it's a shame because I literally have an apartment gym here and I should be taking advantage of it. But also I'm like allowing myself to settle in. Even for Ryan, like he comes home from work and the last thing he wants to do is go to the gym and work out because he's exhausted. And I feel like a lot of people can relate to this and you might feel like you're lacking motivation. But the truth is that motivation comes and goes in waves. There are days that you are just so pumped and so ready to work out and conquer the day. And there are other days where you don't want to do SHIT. At the end of the day, having discipline is what is going to make you stick to a routine and stick to a plan. And I personally believe, and you guys have heard me say this before, that in order to stay disciplined, you need accountability. And that is why Future is sponsoring today's video. Future is a new fitness app that pairs you with your own highly credentialed fitness coach. Upon signing up, you're gonna answer a ton of questions that will match you with a specific fitness coach, and then you'll have a 15 minute call with them and go over kind of all your goals and they'll get to know you better. I got matched with Kelly and I had the most eye-opening conversation. Like I feel like she's literally perfect for the goals that I have. I can actually make an entire video about Kelly because she's just incredible with future. They're equipment agnostic, which means like if you're only able to do body workouts at home or if you have a fully equipped gym or if you only have dumbbells, the coaches are gonna be able to create a workout routine that is going to work specifically with the equipment that you have. The one thing I'm noticing that I'm really excited about is that you can constantly message your coach. You can message them, you send over your form, send over pictures of what you're eating, and they will respond to you real time. I think having a coach that works with you and doesn't make you feel bad, but rather helps you find alternatives is so important. Together, you and your coach are going to work towards all of your fitness goals, and no matter how busy your life gets, your coach is always gonna be there to keep you on track, and you can take solace in knowing that Futures coaches have worked with professional athletes to working professionals, so like no matter where you're at in your journey, future coaches are going to be able to meet you where you are at. If you're ready to start building the discipline it takes to achieve your fitness goals, all you have to do is go to www.tryfuture.co slash jasmine. And that is going to allow you to try Future for the first month for just $19, which is a crazy steal for having a one-on-one -on -one personal coach. I will definitely be keeping you guys posted on my journey with the Future app. This will not be the last time that you guys hear me talk about it. In fact, right now I'm going to go downstairs and do my first official workout and I'm so excited. I will check in with you guys post-workout. been watching Better Call Saul for the last, I don't know, two and a half hours. We're on season six. I think we've only got like two or three more episodes left. I was very generously gifted some desks from this company called Hoic Home. They're based in New York and they basically make functional furniture that like you can build and break down. And I thought it would be cool to show you guys how it turns out. Or you want me to make it and you record it? <gasps> All we've got to do is just snap this into place, yeah? No, it goes in long circles, yeah. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, okay! That's really cool. And look, it even has like the outlines so that you know exactly where everything goes after. That is so cool. I, when I saw that it was like really functional, I was like, I'm not buying it. Literally. <laughs> just kidding. Is it heavy? This is awesome. 
times. <laughs> oh, I think these literally just snap into place. This one goes up here and this one goes underneath. Wow, that's actually so cool. And then that goes up here. Look. Nuh uh. Oh, I think I know what I did. Yeah, I got it. We did it. Da 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 Dora. This is dope. It took literally, like, this actually would take five minutes to install. We got a little lost at the end, but it was our own fault. It's actually really easy to do. This is so awesome. This is so freaking sick, bro. Dude, you're being such a fucking hoe. Oh, let's go put it in the room. How? How? Can I turn the leg? No, arm. You gotta record it right here, okay? So I can put it as is. It goes right here. Pretty cute. Let's try it. Look. Woo! Nice. Come Thank you for the shoes, baby. Yeah, my girlfriend got me some motherfucking Jordans. Get your camera. Yeah, okay, so we've got the desk set up, and then with moving the nightstand back there, we're probably still gonna get a different one, but it's very low priority. Set up the bathroom, super nice. Cologne. Close this. 